Welcome to Smarter Outdoors. Today we're going to do something simple and fun. We're looking for fat lighter. Fat wood, heart of pine, pine lighter, fat lighter, which I've already said a few times. Anyway, it's real simple. You can always buy it at the corner store if you're in Georgia or anywhere in the southeast, but up north it's a little bit harder to find. It doesn't grow readily available. Uh, to give you a quick understanding of fat lighters, it comes from pine trees. That's why we're here, pine forest. What happens is as the tree dies and falls over, the sap sinks down into the root or the stump of the pine tree. What you're left with is, it looks like a rotten tree stump. I really thought it was going to take a little bit longer to find some fat lighter, but obviously where we are, there's plenty of it. Quick ways to identify fat lighter, give it a good kick. It doesn't readily break apart. This one's going to be an easy one to get out. It doesn't easily break apart. More than likely it's fat lighter. Real quick, take your trusty tools, break into it. What we're looking for is real rich colors. Now you tell me that's rotten. It's really not. It should smell like pine saw or turpentine. And this one's, this one's not super strong, but it's delicious. You don't want to explain uh, turpentine for a lot of our viewers. Uh, turpentine is usually what you'll find in like paint thinners or, or cleaners to clean paint off of things. It's a pretty volatile substance. Um, a lot of times it was used to tan hides. We'll probably do a whole nother video on that though. That's going to take a while to explain. Anyway, next tidbit is to get it out of the ground. All right, so now that we're ready to get this thing out of here, uh, simple stuff, of course, kick it with your boot a few times. Kind of see if you can get it to come out with your hands. Hopefully this one being as loose as it is will come out nice and easy. Kick it a few more times here. There's no really wrong way to get it out. Well, okay, this is coming, hold on. Oh, shoot. There we go. That's a little bit bigger than I thought it was about to be. Okay, well, wow. <laughs> this is a pretty decent chunk of fat lighter. <laughs> um, since we didn't go very far, I'm not gonna worry about trying to chop it up here and put it in my backpack. We're going to toss it in the back of the truck and uh, might as well go find some more fat lighter. Sounds good. So, go ahead and stick this over here in the pickup truck. Uh, one thing you can do, of course, is take and check the depth of this. What I'm doing is I'm just notching, kind of seeing and making sure what's fat lighter and what's not. Kind of save me some trouble later on uh, this one is actually pretty pretty decent piece well in size anyway uh, the concentration of the fat lighter is not really that good um, again take another look right there here in a second we're gonna show you some real good fat lighter um, the farm here is is where I live at and we've got 300 acres of playground to us um, so, I know a good bit of the areas where there's fat lighter. That one was more of a surprise. So, let's go find some more fat lighter. Well, we thought about just giving you a tidbit of uh, fat lighter findings, but I feel there's a lot more involved in, in finding good fat lighter. So, one thing is, it never looks the same. It doesn't always look like a rotten piece of wood sticking out of the ground. So, we're just going to walk around here and hope we come across some really uh, this is some uncharted areas of the property I don't have enough time after work to come out and explore every inch of the property but I know my way around so a few things to look out for especially out here I'm pretty sure you all know about poison ivy and poison sumac usually poison ivy will be in clusters on the ground and poison sumac will be up on the trees uh, in vine form well Luckily for us, there's not much out here. But whatever this tree is, is scary. Check out the thorns on that thing. No, I have no idea what this is. If one of you guys could please send me a message and tell me what kind of nonsense thorny tree that is, I'd highly appreciate it. Well, as we continue our little expedition here, just to explain, this is not my normal hiking backpack by any means. This is just a little day pack for when we're on the property. We're no more than a mile from the house at any point in time on the property, at least areas that I've been so far. 
Uh, so I don't ever feel like I'm in an immediate danger and need to worry about not having access to medical assistance. So we do have full service here, so it's not really a dangerous situation. There's some fat lighter right here. All right, so this nicely hidden thing, hardly been able to see, I walked right past it. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if this is truly fat lighter. Kind of kick some stuff away from there. Oh no, that one's all rotten. There's probably some mulch here. A lot of times when you find it like this, let me get my trusty little shovel here. Yes, it fits in my back pocket. I didn't show that. Oh, uh, well, either way, it's okay. You'll see more of this little tool. Um, it's also got a nice little trusty pickaxe on it, which actually may not be a bad idea to use. I usually use this for foraging or camping, putting stakes in, I've used it as a hammer, all sorts of stuff. Um, what I'm looking for is down here in the bottom. There you go. Hear that? The funny thing about fat lighter is it doesn't really decay even after being eaten. So a lot of this material you're seeing will still burn. I'm not saying, you know, bet money on it, but there we go. Right here. There's some good fat lighter down in there. Um, also, this is kind of a waste of time to gather fat lighter this way because the less there is above the surface, the less fat lighter there's going to be. Just keep that in mind all the time. But some of your strongest fat lighter can be found this way. Uh, one of the biggest things I'm noticing, there's not grub worms or beetles or anything in it. So first off, that tells me it's naturally decayed and there's nothing actively eating on it. So see if I can dig some more of that out there. Alright. Okay. I'm going to hack into this real quick and see if I can't get a nice pretty piece off for you. Oh, yep. So, now we've found a little critter here it's not naturally decaying there's actually centipedes in here and these guys will bite the nonsense out of you so it's probably not to play with them oh i was about to zoom in on, on your blade oh well being that's the case i'm no longer going to sit here and play with this most of the fat lighter's burnt but you can see this was fat lighter at one point in time yeah. there's some more little grub worms hiding down in here little small ones probably I don't know if y'all can see this on the camera, but uh, see that little guy? Here, let me hold that still for you. That's a little baby centipede. Go ahead and fling him on over there in the woods. Well, it's kind of discouraging, but anyway, it's still fat lighter. Go ahead and dress back up for this walk. We can walk and talk. You're you know not what? always going to find good fat light of the first try. It's not, you know, it's prevalent in the right areas, but, uh, you know, it's like anything else. Yeah, it's, it's common, but sometimes you just get a bad catch. A whole 10 feet away over here, though, is something similar like to what we've already seen. Nice old piece of fat lighter. Let's go ahead and make sure this is a... You Pretty saw nice. that. There was no camera cut, no nothing. I didn't even spot it yet, and he'd already found more. See, this one here is not really... It's not really potent. So, it's not really... It's not something I'm going to take and transport out of here. Yeah, there's not... It's not damp to the touch or anything like that. So, I'll probably just leave this here. Not really worried about that. Um, so let's continue our little walk here well a little tidbit about being in the woods especially when you're looking for fire starters and tinder and things like that um, a spot that I've already been to several times before is here this is commonly referred to as reindeer moss it's an amazingly well amazingly might not be the right term for it it's a really good tinder to start a fire um, you know, everyone uses pine straw and things like that, but this, just straight off the ground, just kind of knocks some of that stuff off of there. All right, 
is a great tinder. Face um, it at me a little bit. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Here's your little patch of it there. You see it? Kind of like a sponge-like material, like most moss is. Yeah. Well, good thing is you can take, just bunch it up real good. Uh, I don't have a fire starter with me, so we're just going to take a quick brush with the lighter that may not work. Here. Hold on. No, oh, this is this is camp training here. Sorry for all the clicking for those of you that despise clicking. Look at that, finally. So we might only have one go at this. Once you get it started though. It burns really well. Yeah, dismiss that pine straw burning there. We're just gonna light another piece. Uh, might wanna kick over an area here. I'm gonna drop this soon. But it will catch a spark readily. Uh, the drier the better. But being that it rained the past, I don't know, week. Pretty impressive. It sure is. Stomp that out real well. Okay. And as you can see, there's a plentiful amount here. And, and the conditions have to be right for it. You know, we're, we're just up the hill from a natural spring. We're in a nice pine forest. Well, mixed forest. The farther, or the farther we go in, the deeper, you're going to see more oaks and uh, cypress. You'll see some birch and some other trees down here. But, to get back to it, we're still on the hunt for more fat lighters. This is an old oak tree, so we're not going to get any fat lighter from that. Um, I do know there is a large piece of fat lighter on the ground back here somewhere. I think it's right over this tree. Yep, I see it's off. Um, lucky for you for Kyle here, the one running the camera. There's no thorns on the ground, so you can spend his time watching the camera. So here's a, a spot where you can mistake identity. We do have an old pine stump here, but the tree's laying right beside it. So I'd always suggest, you know, you can go around and kick it and see if there's anything about it. But more than likely there's not. No, that's not. That's just, it hadn't rotted yet. I was about to get excited. It's just dry. That's all it is. But this will still make good tinder. It won't make a good fire starter, but it will make good tinder. Easy to cut, kind of like a 2 by 4 you'd buy at uh, your local hardware store. But definitely not fat lighter. It just smells like um, what's called stud wood you get at the store. So, yeah, so if you're looking for stud uh wow. If you're looking for fat lighter, this wouldn't be one to waste your time on. You just want to keep on moving on. Right. Probably in the next uh, two or three years, we'll come back and harvest that. Now, directly in front of us here, this isn't the stump I was talking about, but it's still fat lighter. It's a piece laying over here on the ground. All right. Let's take a look. Next piece of fat lighter you get, try to give them a good view of that kind of orangey color it's got. Okay, I can do that. Let's see. Let me come around the side of it. Oh yeah, sorry, I know you guys don't don't want to see my. Oh shoot! <laughs> Throwing stuff at me. I'm just gonna cut a piece off of here. Oh, this is good here. It's got purples, blacks in it. Some of that's not. There we go. Ah, maybe I'm going to come around here, cut a little bit off this tip. No, not yet. Oh, dang. This, this one's tough. All right. So it's not the best fat lighter, but you can see the, the orange, good looking wood inside where the resin's building up. All these darker areas here. That's where the resin's actually building up. So, the more cherry red it is, the better fat lighter it's going to be. That stump's probably not going anywhere. But I do really want to get a nice 
cut off of it to show you guys. So let's give it a go over here. Not happening. There we go. Perfect. Sorry if that noise bothers you, but There goes the UST uh, uh, parachetti. Parachetti. It's not called a parachetti. What's the word for this? Uh, paracuda. Excuse me. Paracuda, FS. Well, I'm sorry. I have a replacement for it here shortly. Actually, no, I have a replacement for it up at the house. To be honest. All right. Anyway, continuing. This is beautiful fat lighter. I bet you're a little upset about that uh, paracuda, aren't you? You have no idea. I will say though, four years by my side, it has put up with a lot, a lot of punishment. And I mean, uh, what I paid for it? I still think it's good value. Like I may buy another one. I mean, come on. I mean, I was beating it with a, a shovel and trying to break a tree stump. <sighs> but, we're always prepared. Let me see that puppy. The Sog Kukri. I'm not gonna try to pry with it, but I am gonna hack at this thing for a second. There we are. Not even damaging it. Oh yeah, look at that purple down in there. Check that out. Now that's some pretty fat lighter. There we go. See? This is fat lighter. This one was probably struck by trees. Uh, I mean struck by trees. Struck by lightning. I don't know. I can't even tell you how long ago it was. But I can say... I don't think I'm kicking that out of anywhere. Like, literally, that's not not even budging. So, uh, I see some knots already built up around the edges. Hopefully this will be worth messing with here. Let's see if we can. Let's not do that with this blade. Ooh. There we are. That's what we're looking for. That's fat life. All right, let's test this little batch out here. Kind of see what we got going on. This shouldn't be as waterlogged. It was hot. Most definitely a lot better than the last batch we found. Oh, it's spreading really quick. Stomp that out, make sure that's out. But this is a find of fat lighter, if there ever was one. You'd I mean, harvest a lot out of that. Once again, to show that coloration, so you see it in the tree. Fat lighter tends to have that kind of a color to it that reddish, orangish color. color. Look at all the lines in this, man. This was an old tree. See the lines in it? Mm-hmm. If you don't think about trees, the older it gets, or every year it gets a line, give or take. It's not perfect fact, but it's about every year. That's that letter. That little piece I poured out of the middle there. Well, I'm really interested about this knot right here. I want to take a look at it. Hear that woodpecker going at it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 
this is a real good, real good chunk of fat lighter here. So I'm gonna stop hacking at it, you know, plan a day to come out and actually harvest this. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna get it out. As you can see, we're kind of in the Down middle of the woods hill. here. I see a uh, four-wheeler in Esso's distant future. Most definitely. Well, I'm standing here. I see another piece of fat ladder, two more pieces of fat ladder down there in the swamp bottom. Um, I don't think I, looks like there's a tree stump over there. There's one over there. There's, oh, there's like three of them. Oh, that's a big one. Hey, let's go check that out. All right. We're losing daylight, so this might have to be the last stump for today. Alright, well, this one looks pretty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Oh, this one's beautiful. You hear that? Yeah, sounds solid. What in the world? It's like... There's resin on top of this. Okay. Does that almost sound like rock? That's not going anywhere. Okay. This will have to be the last and probably the best bit of, of uh, fat lighter we're going to get. There's actually resin on top of it. You can come right here and look. You ever seen dried tree sap? See this? That's dried tree sap. So we're going to maybe try to take a sample from this little guy out here. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And this is really tough stuff on a machete, by the way, guys. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> that is ridiculous. I think it's partially because of the way that tree is shaped. It was keeping you from hitting the... Stump right. You're about to be really upset. Show it to the camera. I'm just hitting fat lighter. Well, not good for day one of testing of the SOG. And I mean, look, it's not like I'm tearing up this, I mean, I'm not, my strikes are good. I'm on point and everything. It's not like I'm, I'm hitting it sideways or nothing. I saw what you were doing. What was the steel this was made out of? I don't know it off the top of my head. I have to call Sog about that. Anyway. This video might get renamed Machete Destruction. Most definitely. Let's see if the shovel can break our fat lighter up. Go shovel. Oh, smell that. It even burns your nose a little bit. Hold on a second. Hold this about here for just a second, man. I'm going to focus it in a little bit. As you guys know, I'm having to go between autofocus and manual focus when I'm walking, so it's uh, a little interesting. Sorry if that uh, transition's a little wonky, but uh, take a look at those colors. Fat lighter really has some interesting colors to it and lets you know what you're looking at. And like you said, you can tell more about it by the potency. So I'm about to give it the old uh, smell test. No pun intended. <laughs> dirty, <laughs> dirty, dirty man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to give this big chunk of light here. That stuff's going to light real well. Holy crap, yeah. So, I like nicked it with the flame. It instantly you can, went off. You can already see the black smoke coming off of it, and that's the resin that's built up inside of it. This is a prime chunk of Georgia fat lighter right here. Camera's not getting in focus. There we go. This is a prime chunk of Georgia Fat Lighter. That black smoke, like I said, is that resin. 
This is the best piece I think I've ever found on the property. I, I didn't know this was here, to be honest. I knew about the one that's been struck by lightning, but this. We're gonna have to remember that thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back and get this. I'll just hold on to this all the way through the woods. <laughs> As y'all can see, yeah, this is. Don't get it too close to your mic. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. Pretty right. impressive stuff. All right, now that we're done with our adventure through the woods, I figured I'd give you guys another good look at uh, reindeer moss. I'll go ahead and set that off. You can see it almost instantly caught. And it's smoking. I'm gonna go ahead and light the other side a little bit too. Just give it a good burn. Set it down here in the dirt. And to show you how easily fat lighter catches, Got a little bit of it on there. Let's go ahead and pre. We went ahead and pre-cut some to show. Hopefully that reindeer moss doesn't burn out before I get the uh, fat lighter caught. You can always blow on it instead of using your torch again. Yeah, that's a good thing about reindeer moss. Screw it, we got, we got fire. That's the damp spot there, huh? Yeah. Let's go ahead and light the fat lighter. So as you can see, fat lighters burn pretty well. It'll probably reignite that last little bit of reindeer moss here shortly and get the other one going as well. So these items, they'll burn for a little while, help you to start your other wood. Yeah, this isn't meant to be your only primary source of fire. This is meant to start the wood you have piled up for the fire. So you'd set everything else up, put this down in it, and light it up. Also called tinder or kindling? Yes. Um, it's commonly known as fat lighter here in Georgia. Uh, once again, he, he called it fat wood earlier and I find myself using the two interchangeably. So I apologize if I do that, but uh, fat lighter, fat wood, same difference. Right, I'm taking a look at the, uh, the fire we have there and the big chunk of fat lighter sitting right beside it. Yeah. And the multiple pieces we collected. You see the little pieces on fire. This is all fat lighter as well. I'm about, I'm about five foot eleven, and this is about waist high. This all would be good tender. So it's still burning. Go ahead and grab a piece of this. I give you a little bit of a look at it. That's the smell is really strong, and uh, like I said, I actually like the smell a lot. So. Yeah, there's some things that you can use to help you start a fire or whatever that have a bad smell to it. This isn't one of them. It's a good natural burning fire source. That black smoke is formed from the resin from the uh, tree sap. I was wondering about that. It's an oil, just like anything else. Instead of a uh, dinosaur bones and remains making our crude oil. It's uh, pine trees decaying and making our fat wood. Fat lighter, part of pine, lighter wood. You getting some real zoomed in shots of it? Uh -huh. 